All right, there we go. So, welcome back to the terminal test string tutorial, or well, walkthrough. Let me pull up the chat on my phone here. So we did leave off at the wall, the side wall. So this is what we have so far for the side wall. We have a pretty decent material here uh, with some graininess to it, some variation and stuff. Um, and so we're going to work on the grunge for that in a bit. But right now, I'm trying to figure out why my height map on my back terminal is overlapping. Okay, so you know what I'm going to try? I'm going to re-enable it. And I'm going to bring the dirt back down here. Let me just expand. I don't need to touch your properties right now. So I wonder if dirt has a height map. Okay. Okay. So we still have the same issue, but we're going to sort that out a little later. So for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working on, let's see. So the windows look pretty good. Yeah. So I have my reference here. And I would say we could start working on the roof material. Unless anyone else has any ideas. Because everything else is pretty straightforward. Um, it's either the roof for me, this back terminal roof back here, or the walls for the front terminal. I honestly think the walls for the front terminal might be a better choice here, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and head over to front terminal. And I'm kind of thinking this idea of this material here might work well. So I was thinking we could duplicate wall two or wall one. I don't think actually wall one doesn't have a mask. Let's try it on front terminal. So front terminal, we're gonna paste that. We're obviously gonna get rid of the line material. So let's get rid of the mat four, I think. And how does that look? A little too simple. I honestly think it looks uh, pretty solid. Oh, the snack of the day is pizza today. I forgot to mention that. But. I don't have a drink here, so we're not going to spill anything over the keyboard. So anyway, um, yeah, I was thinking we could maybe get some more reference. Let's bring up substance source. And I have to log in. Okay. We'll do this. Log in. I'll go for 
something that looks somewhat washed, like white, but it also seems to have some graininess to it. So I think this material that we have here might actually work just fine, um, especially because it actually does have that graininess to it. You guys can see it. It's subtle, but it's definitely there. We can edit the individual properties of this material though, so we are going to probably do that. Let's see, I think it's concrete asphalt, the one that I have the height map on. So this is the intensity on it. I don't really like how it looks like when it's, I mean, eh, the tiling is fine if the height map opacity is set to something low like that. But I could also pull up the video we were looking at earlier. Let me just do that real quick. Actually, I have it. I should have it here. But I want to make sure my yeah desktop audio is muted. Just so we don't actually get like striked or anything. <laughs> okay, so. Alright guys, look at this. So, I have some pretty decent reference here of the that part of the terminal. I can't really zoom in that far, can I? No. But that, that I think is good reference for the leaks under the windows on the siding. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this because he is going to show this part mm -hmm. okay yeah so that material seems to be pretty uh, let's see 504 okay so this is awesome reference right here this is from like seven months ago so it's it's relatively recent so we have we do have a similar material. It's just a lot dustier. It has like a much more dusty appearance. So for that, I'm still trying to figure out what color that is. It seems to be like gray, but it also like transitions to this tan beige or not beige. It's way too saturated to be beige. Okay. 512 okay you see there's graininess there like a whole lot of graininess and there's some lines across so we're kind of seeing some interesting material here um, now for those sections there seems to be a dark gray and these windows actually do have frames which I should have I should have added but Okay, so I think um, we'll try to go for that dusty approach there on that wall, because I think it goes all the way across. Yeah, it goes all the way across. And you can kind of see how that's happening here, but it's a lot less noticeable because the, the exposure is just crazy. So the color isn't necessarily very accurate. But this, this reference right here is updated as of um, late 2023, I think, or around that date, I'm, I'm sure it is. So, because I remember after I finished the project, it was updated. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do that. We're going to change the color of this material here to something like what we see here or here it is kind of like gray but it's also like closer to white it's not white though it's gray it's definitely gray so we have base color 
for the base, I'm going to change it like that. And uh, we'll change it to something like something that looks right. Does that look right? I don't I think it's more gray. A little bit more. trying to figure out how we're going to do the dustiness here in these faces you could always just do like a mask type thing it's not a, i don't think it's a big deal definitely a lot less saturated maybe a little tiny bit and then i think it's darker not sure if it's that dark doesn't seem to be. Let's get a better angle here. So you can see it is a little bit saturated. I don't know how to explain it, but it there, you can definitely see some saturation. Like, at least a little bit of it. So we might even do this, so the one we had before. Color slightly lighter. And yeah, a little darker. Uh, like that. So that it looks gray, but there's also a little bit of saturation. I think there should be a little less saturation than that. That might work. For this one, it's pretty simple. It's just like... A really robust tan orangey color dark dark orange but also yellow it's, it's like gold but it's also not gold so I'll do wall 2 for this one base we're gonna change it to that robust color Let's see, it needs to be darker. Actually, it needs to be a little lighter, otherwise you won't see the value. Let's do this. It's like down here. Actually, let's hide all of these materials. Less saturation. Maybe that's a little too intense. It's thinking something like here. Let's see how that looks like. For that last material, I think this is where we can give it that washiness. Not too much. Because this is essentially 
around what we want. Okay. Let's bring it back. A lot less. I think it will be useful to uh, see it in contrast to this wall. That way we kind of have a better picture of, or point of comparison. Because with everything looking gold-ish, it's going to be hard to tell if this is the right color, you know? Sides are also gold, right? Yeah. So is this bottom side. Actually, this bottom side is a slightly different color. We'll do that later. A little too saturated by far, in my opinion. Um, it needs to be less saturated. Bring the saturation down just a tad here for the base. Not too much. And this material needs to be slightly darker, I think. Because it almost, it, it, it looks as if it will almost blend in slightly with this. It would have been great if we had this reference when we actually modeled it. There's that window line down that thing. Yeah, it's not that saturated. Let's bring it down just a bit. Let's do that here too. Looks good. Red Fisher, welcome. Thank you for joining. Appreciate it. Appreciate your feedback. Uh, okay. Nobody will notice that. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm just, I'm just trying to make it as good as we, as I can, as it can be. I used to think that way. Like, no one's gonna notice this. No one's gonna notice that. But you know, if you're striving to make really, really good stuff, um, I would recommend you know trying to. No, obviously not spend time in a bunch of useless things, but maybe like try your best, you know, spend some time on it. It's up to the person, of course. Some people don't like to do that. And, but others do. I feel like this color looks good, you know, because if it's not as saturated and it kind of gives it that blend. Uh, thinking of getting the scenery again, yeah, it, it's um, yeah, it's a little tedious, a little bit of a tedious thing, but it's it's very rewarding. Like the stuff you can come up with, stuff you can do, it's a very rewarding thing. See, I think this reference is like it it fools you into thinking it's very saturated, but you kind of have to watch that, you know? 
you have to watch that you have to make sure the colors don't look too washed or too saturated and you gotta you gotta look closely you gotta you know actually spend time on it if you want to want it to look good you know But yeah, that's my honest opinion on scenery. It's it can get tedious sometimes, at least for me, because I you know I spend a lot of time doing this stuff. But it's really it's really fun. It's really rewarding. Um, and if you're thinking of learning modeling, it's like a very it's very awesome to see the end product of hard work that you do. It is it is very awesome. So. Okay, so we'll leave it at that. Actually, it might be a little more saturated than that. Maybe like, let's try 0.227. That's what it was at before. Or 0.23. I think you've nailed it. Thank you, appreciate it. Um, colors seem, it, it seems right, I guess. We can move on to this one right here. I'm gonna try not to play the video, like, just so, just in case. Haven't done it since 2015. Oh, so you haven't done, so you, you've already done this before then. Scenery development is what you're saying. So we're duplicating wall one since it doesn't have a mask, and we're gonna turn it into wall three. And it's gonna be white. So that's gonna be for our uh, thing here. I think this color is actually pretty good, but we might have to mess with some of these so that it's a little lighter. I think I'm gonna make it a little lighter here too. So I don't want it to look too gray. Gonna add a black mask and let me take a look at the reference again. <sighs> okay, so it's this entire front part that has that white color. <clears throat> it's triangulated mesh. A little bit of a pain to deal with sometimes, but hey, eh, you know, it is what it is. At least we were sure that our topology won't won't um, affect really <laughs> the render. So anyway, Give it a little bit of that, extra attention because there's there could be some little triangles in there that you might not see. There's very narrow ones like these and these. When you triangulate your mesh, you always gotta make sure that you get all of the triangles. When you're texturing, of course. Saving. Okay. Well,
have raw material down there. Something I'm looking into because I'm not sure. It seems to be like one of those like rock walls, if you know what I mean. Like not a literal rock wall, but it has like tiles across. Alrighty guys, <clears throat> so um, I'm trying to get this whole thing painted in white, this whole front section here. But I'm just making sure I'm painting the right sections because. And you see kind of how this material works out so well for this white wall because there's graininess here, there's graininess back here. And uh, although here it's a lot more exaggerated, it seems to be a different one. So I think, I think we could mask it out later. But. If we really wanted that effect. But I think right now, for right now, it looks fine. This terminal has a lot of interesting textures, as we will see. I mean... Honestly, <laughs> honestly no. But, interesting in the sense that they're weird, like... Or not weird, but... They've, they've just got too much to it, like these. This up here. We're also probably gonna add these, like, cement looking, or not cement, uh... Forgot the name of these tiles, like, floor tiles. Um... But overall, I'm not gonna lie, this terminal color-wise, it's pretty bland. Cause it's only, it's literally just gray, and it's white, and it's beige. Um, <laughs> so. I mean, that that's why it's really good, that's why I thought, like, it's such a good idea to stream this terminal. Um, the retexturing at least, cause it's so basic that beginners could take this on, and they could make it look good, you know? without having to, you know, that much experience. Cause there's, you don't, we really don't have to know that much to make this look good. The colors are all, you know, they're all pretty similar. It's like, literally, if you're just watching what I'm doing and you had this terminal model, you could pretty much pull this off, like. But once we get to that back side of the terminal, we're going to start getting into detail with some of those signs and I'm going to introduce concepts like projection mapping and and yeah, I mean it's going to be it's going to be a good series. When we get to that back terminal. But for now we're doing this front part. We're just painting it, you know, the basic stuff. Do you know how to separate those red lines? Every time I put a texture, the whole thing changes. 
Oh, make sure you, when you're in polygon fill, make sure you're in square fill or polygon fill, not in mesh fill. Cause like, watch what I do when I go into po uh, mesh fill. Whole thing, whole terminal changes color. And it's because it mesh fill fills every single interconnected uh, vertex. So make sure you're in square fill or triangle fill or whatever. I mean, triangle fill also works for me here too because I'm working with triangles. Pretty much the entire model is triangulated. Never model in Blender? Oh yeah, uh, I have a Tanger tutorial for you if you want to check it out. Um, if you want to get started with Blender. <clears throat> but if you use SketchUp and stuff, I think as long as you can import the models. I think I should make a tutorial on that actually, like how to import SketchUp models in the Blender and stuff. That's right. So these, I have to remember to add the window material to these because I did not separate those into the Windows uh, object for some reason. But all the other windows have the window material on it. So. Thank you, yeah, you're welcome. It's stupid little things like that that can delay <laughs> the whole development of a project. Like, I can't figure out this issue, and it's something really basic. It's happened to me before. Like, that height map issue I'm having happened to me in, uh, when I was doing my first project. And it turned out I just needed to set the layer grouping, which is what I just did. But I guess later I'm going to have to figure out why that's not working. Maybe it's a bug, a substance painter bug. That's very possible. Modeled in Moto, exported a lightweight file, then in Blender. Oh yeah, yeah, that works too. Exporting into or importing into Blender works just as well. You can do the same thing. I, I honestly don't really think it matters that much, other than the topology. But yeah, screwed up topology can really be a pain in the butt. And I'm speaking from experience when I say that. Um, about two years ago, I was doing... Um, if you guys check out Hold Short Designs, I think it's the name of the team. HSD. Not sure if you guys know them. Um, their Glacier Park Freeware Scenery. I... Oh. Let's not go in there. Or actually... We're going to leave those faces white. Or actually, no. Let's, let's keep them gray. But anyway, as I was saying... I was modeling a terminal, the Glacier Park terminal. It was an imported model from SketchUp and I was supposed to texture it. Now, before I was able to texture it, I had to do this whole like retopology process and it was so painful because it was imported from SketchUp and the model was genuinely like so terrible because it was imported. And it was such a pain to deal with that because the whole topology was screwed up and, you know, it, it was just, um, yeah, yeah, I bet because sometimes like when you use other software, like I'm not sure if Moto is another 3D software, I've never even heard of it. Um, maybe other softwares are going to be a little better, uh, in that regard, but in my experience, at least, uh, SketchUp, It's just not been the best for importing into Blender. But it definitely does work if you don't have like mesh that's too intricate or if you know your way around it. Like if you can get around with that, why not? But typically I would recommend modeling things in Blender, like not having to import models directly from other software, um, just so that you guarantee that your model is actually like good quality. Or the topology, I mean. This entire thing was modeled in Blender. This entire terminal. So, now I'm gonna get these sneaky spots for the walls. But I will say though, Substance Painter is um, 
currently the best test string software out there. So, especially and especially because it has that uh, Xplain and Microsoft Flight Sim at for config files stuff. So I personally wouldn't really touch her in Blender. Like I personally never really touched her in Blender. It is much nicer. It's it's a lot easier on the user. Like it's a lot more user friendly. Doesn't look too old. The UI is it's pretty good. But like back when, you know, Blender 2.79, 2.6, you know, at the UI was a lot less intuitive. It was it looked really old. I'm trying to get the frames here for these. So no one uses photo okay. Um so Photoshop isn't, there's nothing inherently wrong with Photoshop. It's just like, I personally find it tedious to have to manually lay out your UVs on in Photoshop. Cause like this, for example, is much easier and it looks much better. At least for me, cause I do PBR texturing like 99% of the time. PBR being, you know, having all of these reflective properties. Like if you're trying to get if you're trying to get like good PBR textures, uh, Substance Painter really is the way to go because it saves you so much time and you have a whole library of things. So it looks so much better. Um, but of course, I mean, there's nothing wrong with using Photoshop. It's just some. It's just not something I would do. Like for professionally, at least. So, I wonder if these pillars, I don't think, you yeah, know, I think they're in this material. Okay. So I'll just duplicate wall three. Concrete pillars, I think. And go ahead and clear and remove the mask. Is this, is it this? Yeah, I think they're the same material. I will have to take a look at that video though. So it seems like, yeah. Getting these outer frames.
All right. <clears throat> So I think, for the most part, I miss these. Okay, so I think I just need to do the stairs on this side and then I'll be done. We can just move on to the back of the terminal. This one, I think it's just the shadows, and then I got that back one. Did not get this top side. Okay, so yeah. I think that should do it. So, I think this front side's good to go. <clears throat> Walls wise, I will have to come back to it later. All right, so let's get going with this. So I think these sections are slightly darker than I, I think that they're slightly darker than the wall that surrounds it. So if that is true, then I need to make a new material for that part. Or I can just duplicate the one that I already have. Honestly, I think this wall material that we have for the front terminal is a little too brown. So I'm going to lower the saturation on these. It can't be that brown. There's got to be some decent contrast between this and this, but not too much, in my opinion. Second color, tone that back, completely kill it here. And there is some saturation here too, so let's bring that back there. Be a little bit more less value a little less okay 
<clears throat> so if I am not wrong, so we already have material for, yeah. So this side's the same. I'll just go ahead and paint that then. And it's this top part only. So we got that. And uh, actually, let's go ahead and take advantage of this time here to control C, control V this up here. And we're going to go on group layers, windows. Or let's call this, uh, actually, yeah, it doesn't really matter. black mask and just oh that's a little problem here that we have to deal with height normal there we go is that in the back i can't tell yeah it is and now these up here that for some reason were not included in the windows object Not a problem. There we go. So those windows are good to go. <clears throat> All right, so let's see what else. Okay, these, these things here for the gates, they are a slightly darker gray. I think this gray here needs to be just a tad lighter, actually. No, let's, let's actually just leave it there. So how do you unwrap all those giant interiors with keeping texture quality? So as of right now, uh, believe it or not, I use Smart UV Project. Um, Let's, I'm going to bring this up, actually. So I use, as of Blender 3.68, there's a really good, um, like, packing tool for 3.68. And so I use Smart UV Project, but the secret is that you have to split the objects. So I have, like, probably, like, 20, this looks like, yeah. I have a bunch of collections with different types of objects. So I have the rails, I have the, the stop signs here in the drop off area, um, the trash cans, the benches, the signs. I have the windows. So I have everything split up and I, ha and I export everything into one FBS, which is in here in Substance Painter. So yeah, that's what, that's what I am doing. For yeah, and yeah, that the same concept applies for interiors. Like you just have to make sure you split the objects. And it's for exporting, it's not gonna be the the greatest thing, but that's pretty much how you keep that texture quality. Well no duh Lee. Not gonna put 4K benches. 
Um, anyway, so this is what you guys missed so far, uh, Flight Simmer and Lee. So I got this wall, uh, the base wall. I got the base wall and I have this. Um, by the way, you forgot to add that line in the Windows Flight Simmer when you were modeling this, so shame on you. And then I have this front part uh, pretty much covered. There is some like different plaster material in for the inside part of those walls, which I might mask out. Yeah, I know, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> um, and then I'm probably gonna use some dust mask and um, yeah I was thinking of I'm in between a dust mask and a generator for the the top effect but you will always need like some sort of base you forgot a line yeah not only a line but this window back here that I had to add Please add asphalt base to the side so it has character and a rough look, please. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. So here, th there's already an asphalt base. So it just doesn't have enough height. So what I'm going to do is I might add height to that, but to the ones here, um, it depends on it depends on how it looks like afterward. Like afterward, if with all the detail, added detail, I think it needs more height. I will add it, but I don't want it to look too exaggerated right now. And so, yeah, that's basically the plan. And then for these, for the space wall, add a little more height. Yeah, I was thinking about that, but I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to focus on the color first for these things. That's what I was going to do. So yeah, that is currently the plan. <clears throat> Wait. Okay. Uh So, okay. Can any of you guys figure out what that is? It looks like, it kind of looks like a brick wall, but it's not a brick wall. It's like asphalt, but it's just, well, it's the current wall that I have right now, but it, it has different detail to it. It's like, I don't know. I don't know how to, I can't really tell what it is. And I can't really see it on Google Earth either. Okay, I can see it. It looks like it's like bricks. I can't zoom into a YouTube video. It'll just zoom in on the actual thing. It doesn't work like that. And I also can't take a screenshot without the entire exposure just skyrocketing for some reason. Yeah, so the Dominic design team, so the way Dominic design did it was that they just made the whole thing like, I don't know, it, it was, it didn't look exactly like this, which kind of bothers me, but they, they did somehow replicate something similar. And I think they did for this bottom part too. It looks, but it doesn't look bad. That's the thing. It bothers me, but it, it still doesn't look bad. And those bottom things, uh, Lee, we need to add the black outline to those numbers. Because we have, we have the numbers, but we don't have the black outline on them. Their Pensacola textures look better than ours. Oh yeah, their buildings, yeah. The, the ground, their ground looks worse. But yeah. 
I think the gate parts are bricks. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, but I wasn't sh I wasn't too sure. Because some parts look like that and other parts don't. That's confusing. That's the thing. But oh well. I think the thing, the thing about this is We kind of have to be, I think we have to look for something that looks like that. So this is too cartoony. It's like you can see the bricks in some parts, but other parts they like painted them. It's not, I don't think it's hollow brick wall. It doesn't look like this either. Yeah. It doesn't look like that either. This is kind of what it reminds me of, but it's not it's not this. This is too plastery. It's kind of like this. It, it's like a brick wall that has plaster on it. This is kind of what it like it looks like. But this is too exaggerated. About to show you. Um all right, hold on. Let me just do that. Pull it up. No, don't worry. I I just okay. Yeah, I'm I'm looking at Discord right now. That's why I kind of had to turn off the the screen. Keep going. Try the one, try that one, you can, yeah, that's what I was thinking about, because you can edit the mask, or you can mask out certain things if you don't like it. Watch it be 300 megabytes. See, I, I just, I just kind of knew. It's, it's, it's either less than a megabyte or 300 megabytes, and usually the ones that look this detailed are like 300 megabytes, this material. Yeah, the amount, yeah, I know, I know what you're talking about. I don't think we should use clone stamp for that, but <sighs> doesn't seem like we have much other choice. Still loading in? Alright, alright. Just send me the screenshots when you can. Um Okay, front terminal. Let's let's try this one. Oh, okay. I have an idea. I have an idea. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and duplicate this material. This wall copy one material. We're going to call this wall four. And we're going to keep this in the background, but we're going to overlay this material. So if we can't get this material to look like the way we want it to look like, we're going to, we're going to overlay it. So this is kind of how we're, Let's rotate it first though. 90. This is kind of what we're looking for. Okay, let's. It's not that intense. We can lower the intensity, of course. But you can also just mask it out. I'm restarting the YouTube app. Okay, <clears throat> color one, it's all just supposed to be gray and like black and gray. Too light, color three. Okay, that's, that's gonna be a little bit of a problem because we can't really edit it further than this or the color, and there is some redness to it. Let's see, color two weight. What if I turn this up? Okay. Color one weight, color two weight, color three weight. Uh, roughness, metallic, height range. Uh, high position, roughness. Uh, 
Oh, there's there's different presets. So there's old plastered wall, color to Yeah, it's gonna be a little tough. It's gonna be a little tough. Oh, I like this. I like these random stuff. I like this this random stuff here. We could mask it in, but I don't want it to look too abrupt. That's the thing. It's gonna be really hard to mask something like that in. This doesn't look good at all. Let's undo that. Control Y in substance. Uh, dirty plastered buff wall. Isn't that the one we just had? All right. So wall four, I think that's. Why is the texture that low quality? It's not the texture. It's just. Let's put it on triplaner. It's just the UVs. I'm gonna turn off the height or normal for this one. See, that's kind of the effect I was looking for. That's why I was like, that's definitely not the right. I know the scale is the scale is huge on this, but I think we can make it work because you can. We can just overlay it. Yes, but we have to add the color first. That's the thing. We can't just put everything in at the same time. It's not going to look good off the bat. That's why we have to try this. So if this if this layer doesn't work, we can try something else. But Yeah, no, I don't think it's right either. <laughs> no. Ref. Okay. I am so glad, so glad that I turned the screen, the stream off for that. I am so glad I turned it off. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. I am so glad I turned off the stream. But what are you what are you guys' thoughts on this? I don't like it. Like it looks it looks somewhat decent, but it also doesn't look very decent. Like very accurate. Um, <clears throat> let's see how it looks like here. Thought I got thought I got a message from one of you guys. About loaded in? Okay. You gotta make sure you show me though. Loaded in. Been waiting for a bit. Get off of that, dude. 
I was checking my messages. <laughs> okay. This doesn't... This looks... This does look like abandoned. So I'm gonna get rid of this mask. Let's try something else. Let's just try some like random brick material. Like this one, it's both brick wall. It kind of has that plaster coming in, but it's also like not too intense. You're about to make mesh patch? Cool. You mean for that area here? This area right here where there's gutters and whatever. Waiting for that to finish downloading. Okay, so try planar projection. Go ahead and give it that, uh, okay. This might actually work. I think this was the right material. Turn off uh, normal. Bro, tissues is all I had. Tissues is all I had here. I didn't want to bother going to the kitchen. Like significantly smaller or just like slightly smaller? Eating on stream? Yeah. I would do this. I usually do this on stream when I'm flying, but it's harder to do it when you're texturing. I'll reconsider doing this next time. <laughs> A little bit more opacity in my opinion. How does 30 look like? I think this is too much. They look a little bigger than this. Like, probably like 84. Not this big, but like that. 50? 50? Oh, you mean opacity. Hmm. I'm gonna turn off... I'm gonna... But that doesn't, that's not how it looks like in real life. That's too much.
You can literally see it here in the reference. Let me show you. It's it it doesn't look remotely as bad as that. You can see it here, you can see it here. Let's see. There's bricks, but there's not that much. That's not the right material. The one they used, it's not the right one. I'd go I'd probably go 35 on that opacity. So what? You can wait 30 seconds. Okay. Opacity can be a little lower, in my opinion, and I think we need to turn height on. Um, but obviously lower that. Or actually, do I, do I really want height on? Slightly. Just a little tiny bit. It looks like medieval. Medieval. Some medieval building. Let's turn it off. I think normal was the one we had on. Just a little bit. And uh, let's get opacity up to 50 then. If it's going to be that intense. What do you mean a tad more gray? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna call this bricks. And I'm gonna say, what's what's turning off metalness gonna do? I'll keep metalness on just because it really does not do anything. Okay. There's no difference. Raise the height a tad more. Why? I don't. I don't think we should raise it up that much. Okay, maybe that. But they're not. They're sticking out a little too much, don't you think? I think this is way too much height. I'd say eight is a little bit better. And uh, base, what, what do I have base as? Make it a little darker. There we go. Yeah, but they don't stick out that much either. Unless the building's like abandoned. I think we need to edit the technical, no. I'm looking for attributes, perhaps, no, it's not here. Yeah, or lower the brick. Yeah, I don't... I'm trying to get it to look, because, look... This is what happens when you increase the scale too much. It's going to start tiling badly. Yeah, three lines. What's that going to do? I'll probably say 101. Does 101 look good? I don't think this looks that bad. No, but yeah, but like you don't have you can't make it look unrealistic either.
I think this is about as far as we can get. Or maybe we could even go a little further than this. Uh, without making it look bad. Because I think by this point, it already doesn't look <laughs> very good. If the heights increase so much. Actually, let's try clone stamping. Maybe we can add... Those textures don't tile. Yeah, they do. Like right here, you can see. There's, there's kind of, they're seamless, but they kind of still tile. So yeah, that's what, that's the thing right now. That is the only problem. Because I'm trying to increase, I'm trying to make sure that the brick scale isn't too high. Like last time, our concrete scale was ridiculously high for this part, and that didn't look great. I'm going to lower the scale a little bit to see if that helps. No. So what did I have it at before? It can't be it can't be anything below 90. That's something I know for sure. I had it at 83. I'll leave it at that for now. We'll figure it out later. Okay, actually let's try it because one of them, we can make this darker technically. Color three. Yeah, that helps a little bit with the tiling. No, it doesn't need more. I don't think, well, I think it has to be probably a different brick material. This is much better than V1, but it, I just don't think this looks very good. What's nuts? I think the bottom brick material would be nuts. There is one in the bottom too. It's essentially the same one they have up here. Actually, let's take a look at that one. Let's see if it's... It's kind of similar. I don't really, I can't really tell exactly like how they did that.
<laughs> all right, all right. I will just duplicate this wall for material. It looks a little too intense, in my opinion. It's the same color as this. I just have to sample it. I can't really see how it looks like yet. I need to go back to it. Okay. I think increased saturation on this. And I'll also sample it for the base too. It needs to be a lot more saturated because it's not the same exact thing. Also, the brick scale needs to come up. The door is a good point of reference. Let's see. Can I bring this down? Yes, I can. Can it actually make it look slightly better? I wonder how I can get rid of that. Let's see. Maybe if I just duplicate the bricks material. Just go mask and add a black mask and then clone stamp or is that how it works? Or no. I don't think that's how it worked. Absolute source. I think it's white, maybe white mask, or no, it's not, I don't know. I could just paint it on. That's true. If I just added a black mask, I could just paint it on. Let's lower the brush size though. And we also need to change like the thing. Okay. Let's go back into the mask. Let's see.
not not color one. It's color two maybe. Three. slightly better. I assume it's the same on this other side. Let's see, what does Google Earth tell us? Nope. This is the only wall that looks like that. The other ones look like this one, I guess, but just gray. All right, I'll check, I'll check. Disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. I expected better from you. Still don't see it? I don't need to point that out. Shouldn't have to, at least.
one second, guys. I'll be right back. Whoops. <clears throat> Wait a second. Wait, how? Bro, how is this ASMR? I'm just sipping out of it. Okay. So I clear the mask for that. I'm gonna clear the mask for this too. I'm just gonna make sure I'm not affecting any of the other walls. Yeah. Uh, I'll take your suggestion into account, um, Red Fisher. I think that's a good idea. It makes it look a little look a little less boring.
Okay. So what was I doing? Wall sits. Bricks. Bricks mask. I was painting on it. Well, I don't know either. Like, this, I didn't have to triangulate it last time, I think. I'm not sure. Maybe I had to? I, I can't really remember. I don't really get it either. So, we're in the same uh, boat of confusion. Yeah, it looks too boring if it's this, the exact same color. I think we should make it like a little darker, maybe. Let's let's see how it is in contrast to this. It's almost the same. Maybe we can make it a little lighter then. Oh, that helps blending with the mask. Just add some subtle spots, that way it doesn't look... Okay, yeah. Uh, round things with that, okay. I'll, I'll look at that. Okay, that looks perfect. That that looks good. I like that. I really like this. I really, really like this. Still need to just uh, figure out how to get that sorted, but... Maybe if I just literally just moved this mask a little bit, it would help with variation. Or no, let's try this one. Let's just leave it. I think we can move on to these back walls here. Wall sits. 
make sure we have that selected while we hold on. I'll add some variation in a bit probably because it, it will probably look much better if I add some variation here and there. Even if it's just subtle, it'll make a huge difference. Alright. Really weird stuff going on there with the baking. Turn on the lighting around you, you can't see anything like that. What do you mean by that? You mean move the sun? What was that? Uh, where is it? Shift, uh, shift right. There we go. So what I'm gonna do now is, this looks strange. <laughs> um, I'm gonna add the mask probably. Bricks mask. I'm not sure. I don't think this site. I don't think this site needs it. Maybe this one. Then it would make no difference. Actually, I think that might have been worse. I'll duplicate Brick's mask and I'll make it like low opacity. And I'll put it to 25 for areas that don't need it that much. That looks a little better to me. done already. <laughs> Still not all that close to finishing, but it's a good start. So what I'll do now is I'm gonna go ahead. Oops. 
we can start working on the roof now. Or, I think we should do the doors first, actually. For the concrete pillars, I think this... This needs to go down. Yeah. This is not using this mask, right? Let's get rid of this. Let's apply the low opacity alternative. Looks better. Control S to save. Let's get the doors. So, I wish we had handles on them. For the base of the doors, I think they are far to, part of a uh, front terminal. Um, so. Just turn off the height there and the normal for this layer. And I'll make the color like that. It's kind of like a dark blue ish, but somewhat desaturated. Kind of like that but less, less saturation. And it needs to be a little bit blooper. And darker. The thing's a little too blue. I know, lighting needs to face this way. Need to cook dinner now, finally don't keep, don't have to keep watching your stream. Yep, I'll be glad to not have you here. All right, let's see. I think I, maybe it needs to be greener little bit Let's see, door <clears throat> let's try this and maybe where's the double door Is it the same color? Seems like it. All right. Or no, this, this was black, I think. Or no, it was not black. Why is there a window in the inside and then nothing in the outside? <laughs> That's Flight Simmer's fault.
Um, I kind of want to give that the Windows material. I'm not going to lie, but it's kind of pointless. Uh, the black. And make sure that my gray metal and my black have normal turned on here for both height and normal. Black mask, and go ahead and do that. Beautiful. Let's do the same thing with the doors on this side. I will have to uh, manually do stuff here. Did I use the door mask on these? No, I did not. But that one's a different one because that's, I think it's a roll up door. So. Uh, yes, so you bake in Substance Painter in texture set settings. So you bake the mesh maps here, uh, you select the resolution for all of them. I usually always bake at 4K, and then when I need to change the resolution, I do it on the export here. So I can just change it. And, yeah. It's usually what's better. For me, at least. the same color. I think it's the same color actually. And then for the roll up door I will uh, probably have like a metal roll up. I wonder if there's even like a roll up door material that I could use. Wait for that to finish downloading and uh, we'll apply it here to our model. It's good enough for me. so you know tri planer uh sis c4 needs to be much bigger than that 300 you can barely even tell there's lines there go metal door and we'll try this 
we'll see um, 800, 900, 900 looks pretty good to me. Let's make sure that our normal I think it doesn't really have anything to do. Maybe it's metal? I'm trying to get those ugly. Eh, whatever. I think it's height. Let's try five. Like, I might even lower the opacity of the actual base color at this point. Maybe 900 is a little too much. Let's try 800. 100. All right. Looks all right. All right. <clears throat> Looks good for the walls. <sighs> Maybe it's because the light's not pointing it. Yeah. I'm trying to see if there's anything else. So walls, I guess walls are done on this front part. I mean, there's probably little things missing here and there, maybe. Um, but for the most part, they, they seem to be done. Um, and so what I'm going to do... Let's check the top part here. Okay, yeah. So... <clears throat> That should probably do it for this 
stream because next stream we can just work on the roofs and then move on to smaller details so yeah I think that'll do it for this stream I think the walls on this side are for the most part at least done uh, we'd have to work on the walls back here for the nuts one because the walls back here are pretty straightforward it's I think it's almost the same throughout except back here and uh, here but yeah we'll do the walls back here for the nuts one and then the roof because the roof has a lot of detail put into it so yeah thank you guys all for watching really appreciate all the time you guys put in to watching me do this stuff i really hope it's useful to you guys